welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this gold glitter eye look. And this is my last St. Patrick's Day look. Um, I told you I wanted to get at least one more up, so this is it. I've been wanting to do a gold glitter look ever since I did the red glitter look during the holidays. Um, and I thought St. Patrick's Day would be the perfect time. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. Okay, so I have my brows completed. Now I'm going to prime my lids. And I think to prime my lids tonight, I'm gonna use pretty much what I always use, my Luscious Cosmetics Angel Eyes Primer. So to start off today's look, I'm taking my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use Jade, which is this matte teal turquoise. Um, you're probably like, why is she using a turquoise if this is a St. Patrick's Day look? But this is only going to work as our transition shade, so um, we want to put it very lightly just so we have a nice seamless blend. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a very light minty green. Um, but that's just because I'm putting the slightest pressure of it on. will build up to this shade that is in the pan. Okay, so you know I love the James Charles palette, but I have been using it a lot. Um, so I'm going to go back to my other colorful palette that I have, which is the Carity Matte palette. And I'll be using the two greens that I have in this palette for this look. Um, so the first green I'll be taking is the shade Wicked, which is this light lime green shade and placing that in my crease. And this is just going to give us more of a green pop, you know, um, it's not really going to help for like definition and stuff. It's just gonna help give us some more green to that teal shade we placed. Okay, taking that same Morphe M433 brush, I'm going into the shade Medusa. And this is like a really like bright grass green green. Um, so I'm taking some of that, tapping off the excess, and I'm just gonna place that in my crease just to give us a little more definition. Um, it's not going to give us a whole lot, but um, it'll give us something. Okay, so I lied. I feel like this is a little too, like, one color green. Like, I feel it all blended together. So I am gonna go into my James Charles palette and I am going to go into the shade Daddy, which is more of like a dark hunter green kind of. Um, it doesn't come off like that on the eyes as much, but it is a darker green. Um, so I'm gonna place that in my outer corner mainly and slowly work it into the crease. Yes, that's exactly what I want. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but there is like more of a transition or like a difference from the previous green I placed down and daddy. Like there's more of a definition there um, and that's exactly what I wanted. Now just dipping into any black, I'm just gonna place that very lightly, like the tiniest amount on the outer corner, and I'm just tapping that and then blending it in circular motions. I did go ahead and do the other eye and I did cut my crease. Um, I was gonna do a cut crease, but I I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't gonna look right. So now I'm just gonna apply some NYX glitter glue onto 
the part where I have the concealer and then going into my Clay Off Cosmetics Glitz and Glam palette, I'm going to take this green and place that all over my lid. and just do a black wing liner with um, my Pretty Vulgar gel liner. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm just taking a like yellow goldy shade. Um, and placing that in my inner corner. For my lower lash line, I'm just gonna take a dark green and blend that out. So I did go ahead and pop on some lashes and the lashes I'm using are the official Glam Cartel lashes in Gemini. Um, I don't know why I feel this one's a little wonky, but I mean, it's on fine. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all in the next one.